The CEO for HTA Solutions, Roman Kravchenko, is joining us right now online, alive. Roman, we're getting to you. And uh, his topic is going to be the transactive energy management from energy to value. Roman, thanks for joining us. And you're online. Please give us your vision and your speech. You're welcome. Yes, thank you, Eugene, for a great uh, introduction. Uh, hi, everyone. Hi, everyone attendees and uh, dear uh, speakers. Uh, thanks uh, that you uh, find the time in this critical uh, situation in the world. And um, I think uh, it's, uh, uh, it's our main uh, challenge is how we can share our knowledge and our expertise uh, to more and more people. Uh, so today um, I try and to, to describe the um, concept of transactive energy uh, through um, economic theory. And uh, short disclaimer, this story not uh, about uh, good and evil. Uh, it's story about um, how we can make understand uh, this next uh, long step of energy industry revolution, how we can uh, get uh, the best from the uh, previous uh, uh, steps and last and move into the future uh, to, to imp for, for improvement, this process for improving technology and how we can use this for uh, pr prosperity of humanity. Uh, shortly about um, uh, schedule of uh, presentation. The, there are three uh, key questions. Um, I will describe. Uh, we tell uh, what uh, this transactive energy concept is this evolution of energy market, energy companies, and electricity. Uh, we talk uh, and try to prove cause uh, theorem and uh, the, tell about evolution from energy to value and what is it. Uh, shortly describe uh, what is our company. Um, we are software engineer and provider. We are uh, innovative solution provider. Uh, we use decentralized technologies in different areas. And uh, uh, last year's uh, our key uh, domain is future of energy. And we use blockchain and DLT uh, to build uh, industry for the zero platform for different participants. Uh, we uh, involve in uh, energy industry um, and I thank our uh, partners and uh, uh, companies uh, with, with which we cooperate as energy industry translators like NTU, uh, Ecolabs, previously Stanislav uh, uh, have Talked about um, more about Ecolabs and the NTU ecosystem. Uh, thanks uh, to Energy Web, the uh, this speech um, the next after uh, my presentation. Thanks uh, for our uh, partners from DTEC, uh, uh, to Insights, uh, to uh, to different opportunities. How we can move to the future of energy. And today is the um, main uh, question for industrial players. What is the future of energy? There are uh, different models uh, that describe uh, the future of energy. For example, the model for, from um, World Economic Forum. And uh, there are some uh, key issues um, in future of energy, for example, uh, building uh, energy systems for uh, to supply and demand energy, different uh, new business model, economic model, how we can, um, how in, how we can create uh, not just uh, electricity, but value and uh, uh, transit to uh, end customer. And uh, there are a new way, uh, new vision, how we can build financial uh, sustainability of uh, different markets, not just energy market. 
Uh, there are a lot of uh, innovations in energy, for example, uh, some short over overview from IRENA, uh, this International Energy Agency. Uh, there are a lot of enabling technologies uh, like artificial intelligence, uh, big data, blockchain, um, uh, different vision how we can build uh, new, new age uh, uh, business models. For example, P2P trading model, uh, community ownership models and so on. And um, innovations, it's about uh, transforming of market design, uh, using different uh, not traditional appro approach uh, like uh, time of use tariffs uh, uh, some approaches of uh, granularity of electricity market and so on and this very uh, uh, hard to understand uh, what's happening now in energy market in energy industry and uh, how we can how can we describe this uh, process, how we can understand, predict and force this energy industry evolution? And the answers on these questions we can find in new institutional economics uh, theory. Uh, so you see on this slide three fathers of uh, this theory, it's Ronald Coase, uh, Oliver Williamson, Douglas North, and all these uh, smart guys. Uh, Nobel Prize winners uh, in economics and uh, they provide an uh, economic model uh, that describes uh, the future of different markets and in this presentation I, um, I describe how we can uh, use these models uh, to describe energy market evolution. Uh, so within the new institutional economics, uh, uh, there are some categories, for example, market, institution, uh, firm, contract, transaction, and transaction costs. These key uh, categories uh, uh, with, um, with which we can describe uh, economic systems. And uh, the simple simplified market uh, model uh, due to this uh, theory, uh, uh, the, the, key, um, the key element of theory is uh, transaction costs. There are two types of transaction costs, the internal transaction costs um, of companies and uh, uh, firms and corporations and external transaction costs of the market. Uh, so there are proof from uh, Ron and Cole's theory that the internal transaction costs uh, uh, low than uh, external transaction costs in the market. Uh, so this uh, motivation to create uh, firms, uh, companies and corporation to build uh, as long as possible um, value chain, uh, value chains uh, to create uh, sustainable value and you uh, can reach the uh, high efficiency in this system. Uh, so there are uh, Four conditions, the four uh, main conditions of uh, cost theorem. Uh, so um, our market uh, must be open and competitive. Uh, there are no monopolists. Uh, uh, the second um, condition there, we can, uh, we can get um, free access to market information. Um, property rights uh, on um, assets clearly defined between participants and there are little to zero transaction costs. Um, transaction costs is the cost to uh, manage uh, bargaining and um, contracts between uh, different economic agents. Uh, so as a result of uh, bargaining and negotiation, we um, mm, we reach um, that external transaction cost transform to internal transaction costs. And we achieve efficient uh, outcome regardless of the initial uh, allocation of property rights. Um, if we simply describe uh, this um, first version of energy market, there are um, Two types of uh, two types of um, 
agents, its producer, and consumer, and there, there are some monopoly contract. Um, and uh, due this contract, consumer buy electricity from producer. Um, there are uh, energy market uh, version two. This also simplifies him. Um, there are uh, we transform market. Uh, we transform um, a monopoly monopoly contract to regulated market. So um, also we have uh, a third type of um, agent, the prosumer, and all these uh, economic agents uh, can collaborate and interact uh, on the regulated market. Uh, and achieve uh, some balances uh, due um, supply and demand uh, to electricity and sell and buy electricity from, by market uh, price. And uh, what is the causes market? This energy market version three. Uh, there are free market uh, when um, in which producer, consumer, and prosumer can interact not only uh, within the market uh, mechanism, but uh, as uh, P2P agents. Uh, so for example, producer can uh, directly communicate with consumer and uh, execute some contracts uh, to, uh, to sell the electricity um, for this consumer. And um, there are, um, we must uh, we must do um, many steps uh, to achieve this uh, market three uh, version because there are uh, some problems with uh, legacy infrastructure with uh, legacy technology uh, with legacy regulation and uh, step by step we move in um, to this uh, new version of market um, the second um, the second uh, conditions of Ronald Coe's uh, theorem, uh, property rights clearly defined and little to no transaction cost. What does this mean? And in this situation, uh, blockchain uh, play uh, its uh, main role uh, to, to guarantee, uh, first of all, um, ownership rights on different assets and uh, to eliminate transaction costs in the system. Uh, so if we describe some uh, properties of blockchain, uh, you can, uh, you can see, uh, usually you can see some functionality, some optional properties, but blockchain um, don't guarantee this uh, functionality, just uh, optional provide this. Uh, and, um, um, the main benefits, uh, the key benefits, like economic benefits and business value of blockchain. First of all, this uh, possible to uh, clearly define property rights in the system and uh, little to zero to no transaction cost. As a result, uh, uh, we can describe blockchain as fintech machine for digitalization, objectivation, uh, this entity that have name value. Uh, so what is the value? Well, if, uh, first of all, the measure of capitalization of uh, enterprise, of companies, of uh, economic system, and uh, transaction in this case is at atomic entity of value. So um, if you, want to manage value, they, we can manage this value through managing transactions. And uh, you can see a simple model of uh, blockchain explorer. And in this case, uh, we can see this value on, uh, on the screen of machine on um, our laptop and we can uh, directly manage this uh, transaction uh, as atomic atomic entity of value and um, due this uh, we can manage uh, this entity value so blockchain provide um, functionality for for steps of uh, 
value uh, value management this value harvesting value processing value storage and value transmission um, as example uh, well-known smart contracts provide uh, smart value management so this mechanism uh, um, can describe how um, participants how um, economic agent can um, can exchange the values uh, directly without uh, some third parties and um, eliminating transaction cost due this uh, contract and as uh, we see on the gartner uh, blockchain spectrum model uh, we move in um, a blockchain um, evolution from um, phase of internet of information uh, to um, stage of internet of value so uh, we built uh, some blockchain complete system um, now and uh, this uh, blockchain system provide functionality for for um, create new energy market um, but uh, the key challenges uh, Mm, nowadays it's uh, no um no single standards no single approach how we can build uh, this uh, system this economic first of all system and uh, i saw our organization uh, have a lot of uh, efforts uh, to create uh, uh, to describe uh, standards of blockchain and distributed ledger technology and this process uh, in deep development um, if we want to describe some simple architecture of value technology machine of uh, blockchain uh, we can use a third layer model on the first layer uh, entire entire third model we can see component layer this for example uh, hard layer uh, layer of smart things uh, in energy ecosystem this uh, dr is uh, the second layer that the uh, data processing layer uh, this different uh, application of big data ai ml and uh, on this layer we can see uh, we can see on the energy uh, ecosystem virtual power plant as example of this uh, software uh, layer and the third intangible layer is internet this layer of internet of value for example smart contracts is a simple example of uh, this intangible layer and this third layer architecture can uh, provide uh, for us approach how we can build value technology machine to manage uh, value and what is this evolution process uh, we can use a blockchain uh, for first step for first step for harvesting of value and uh, the initial point this exchange of value and uh, blockchain um, find uh, its application uh, first of all in this stage on exchange of uh, different uh, digital assets, energy assets, uh, and so on. On the first stage, uh, we move to distribution of value. So the, um, th this means factors uh, of factors of production and goods. And on the third uh, stage, uh, we move to pr uh, production of uh, value. This model um, describes uh, due Hegel philosophy uh dialectic philosophy how um different system social system uh, evaluate what about energy company evolution because um, market evolution have a huge impact uh, to energy company uh, energy company 3.0 this company that uh, built um, and use factor automation control system, different ERP system, uh, BMP system uh, to create sustainable enterprise uh, manufacturing process. But in uh, new, uh, but in new market and, and on the new evolution stage, energy company must transform uh, uh, and turn in energy into value. Uh, 
so uh, we can describe this process as transformation of BPM ARP system to a new a new edge system as value process management and uh, enterprise value planning platform. So you must uh, start um, to work not with energy and electricity, but with value. And uh, it's a, a very long and hard process uh, of uh, transformation. But uh, there are three uh, simple steps how uh, energy companies start managing value. First of all, uh, start collecting the data and uh, different, um, you can use different telemetry system. The second step, start using decentralized identity and asset management. Uh, start uh, testing this approach uh, to transform uh, um, your internal uh, organization process. Uh, this and uh, the um, third main step the elicit record and then analyze the transaction for example using a DLT and blockchain uh, system uh, so what is the future of uh, energy company uh, step by step energy company uh, will transform to financial institution to fintech company because um, uh, they generate uh, not um, electricity, not just electricity, but the value for different for different industry, for different domains, and uh, electricity is the measure of value um, and the universal me measure of uh, um, of uh, value that created by company. And moving to more practical uh, example, our company build, builds uh, uh, Electrodo, this ecosystem for transactive energy management. Um, and this uh, product, this solution based on uh, this economic approach. Uh, we start uh, building components for Electrodo um, from 20. 18th and now mo uh, moving step by step uh, to launch uh, this product to market and this um, uh, modular system that provides uh, solution to three key problems three key industrial problems in transactive energy this facilities asset management uh, electricity asset management trading and uh, Cyber security for fault tolerance of this uh, new model, uh, new platforms. Um, so, due to this, um, Ronald Coase um, economic theory, Electrode provides economic and tangible layer for different domain, domains. For, first of all, the transactive energy domain, renewable energy domain, smart grids, and e mobility. Um, the best uh, example. Uh, well-known example is uh, Corda uh, R3 uh, and uh, we built Electrodo um, in Vision sector and uh, this platform uh, provides possibility to transform uh, energy companies to uh, fintech company and uh, what is um, our strange as uh, industrial players, as industrial um, industrial pioneers, is uh, synergy. Synergy is our, our strange. Um, and if we try to describe some manifest of transactive energy, this uh, five uh, simple step, uh, five simple principle, we must uh, launch an as small as possible joint energy project. We must uh, try to test uh, new technology using sandboxes, test beds. Uh, we must work in hard in preparation, localization, different industrial and DLT standards. And we must involve in, in uh, regulatory frameworks, engineering. And first of all, we must uh, to share our knowledge and experience uh, uh, for as more as possible human and specialists using, for example, webinars and different uh, types of uh, communications. So thanks for your time. If you have time to, to questions,
uh, I'm glad to answer on the, your questions. Thank you very much, yes, Raman Ravchenko, the CEO of 482 Solutions, and we have a couple of minutes for a short question, very important question. Raman, could you please explain us what are the main challenges within that transactive energy evolution process you mentioned on your phony files? Mm, the, mm, now, today, the mm, key challenges for us, uh, for industrial players, for industrial devolve, uh, this um, uh, no single, uh, we have no single approach and standards how we can build, build uh, uh, this new age uh, platform. It's, uh, it's uh, main challenges and the main restriction of this movement as uh, legacy regulation in different countries, uh, this uh, key restriction to uh, new products, new solutions, new business model, and we must uh, work hard uh, together uh, to to disrupt this uh, restriction from government, from from different regulation body. Uh, we, we must uh, to help this uh, regulatory body to transform um, in the right way and as fast uh, as fast as possible uh, to achieve uh, the humanity sustainability sustainability and uh, generate a new age of value. Well, thank you again, and thank you for for your efforts to organize such a brilliant webinar.